these sockets sometimes man they'll get pretty hot and over time they get brittle and they decide to start cracking and breaking and you know what I mean they just go to shit uh, one thing that helps prevent a lot of that is keeping bulb grease whenever you're gonna put in a light bulb or whatever then to put some um, grease on the part that's gonna make connection and then um, and that's to help keep a good connection helps prevent it from kind of shorting out and a lot of that shorting out really is what causes that burning like that um, sometimes it's just the the heat but burning out a lot of these nowadays man it's just really easy you got a couple of these little snap clips snap pins up here take out a couple of these do i have a fingerprint on my screen or something is that why it keeps doing that let's see all right take the light out once you get the two clips out and what we're going to do is just unplug these this is kind of like a just pick it up and slide it back plug pick up the clip right there and slide it off same thing on the other side wherever it is there it is just kind of pick up on it like about like so i may need two hands for this one see if i can see if i can do it let's see how good of a mechanic i really am Ta da how about that so anyway unplug your light and then just kind of sit off to the side somewhere on a workbench would be good too so anyway here's your plugs go there and then the uh, the part that houses the, the, the turn signal or marker, whatever that's going to be, and the rest of these doohickeys, there's a little clip right in here. Just push it on that little clip like that. And then once you push on that clip, kind of just push out on the whole deal and it pops out. And, it, and it, this side right here, whenever you're getting ready to put it back together, you just... This side goes in first and it goes behind there and then you just slide that back until it clips in. Okay, so now that we got this out, let's go ahead and get the, and these are a little different. You got a little tab you push down on and then you turn these <coughs> counterclockwise and then slip it out. Okay, here's that one. Here's the, here's the one I'm trying to get to to change. So we're going to just twist that one and pop it out like that. And then instead of leaving this hanging here. On this wire, we're going to go ahead and twist that one counterclockwise and pop it out. And then there's that little doohickey there. Okay. Okay, and you just you just cut these off one and two, and that's down there now. Okay. All right. See, he's cut that bad boy right off the truck. That's all you got to do. Okay, so I spliced back the wire a little bit, put on some connectors, attached the new socket okay we're gonna do the same thing to the other side on the on the right is this super bright led it says lifetime warranty you know i just noticed that when i was putting it in so i'm not sure if this bulb burns out or it goes better if i can say hey you know it sucks so give me another one and if they'll do that but we're gonna see in the future because nothing lasts forever and on this side over here was the, I put in the, uh, this LED here. Okay. So, I mean, I guess it's up to you what you want to put in. But anyway, that's how you change them out, man. There's your sockets, new bulbs. We'll finish slapping the truck back together and call it good. I got to pull that side back out just so I can switch out and put the bulb in, the matching bulb. But beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. All right, we're out of here. I hope this helps somebody. If you have uh, sockets, and it don't matter if it's that socket or if it's another socket. I mean, just cut them off, tie new ones back on. And uh, anyway, I hope this helps somebody, and have a good day.